Hey, it's Angel with Angel's Edge again. Hey, uh, I was at the tractor supply again. You gotta keep me out of that store. Uh, getting some chicken feed for my chicken, my wife's chickens. Uh, and I went uh, to the 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 display case. They had like a, it's like a carousel, and I hadn't been to this tractor supply in a while, so I was spinning the carriage around, and and I picked up a buck knife, a uh, buck iceman. Um, I don't know. It's might it's might have been there a long time. I just never noticed it. But today or that yesterday, it caught my eye. And it was, I believe, just under twenty dollars. I think it was like nineteen ninety nine. Uh, don't quote me on the cents, but I'm pretty sure it was like a, it was under twenty dollars. And it looked like a pretty nice knife. Heck, this might have been a year. It might have been there a year, and I just never noticed it. But it, it like this time, it caught my eye. So uh, here's the, whoop, there's what it is. The Ice Man. Can see. It's hard to see. see clip point so anyways let's open it up it was the display is the last one there so <clears throat> so here's what it looks like it's a book knife this one is made in china so this probably why is only twenty dollars uh, there's the box it comes in and like i said this was the display I don't, someone had some writing on that so and it comes with their Bucks Forever warranty. So, all right. Let's see. Let's open the knife up. Uh, it was stiff at first, but I oiled it and cleaned it. So let me just go ahead and come up here so you guys could see it. It is a black on black knife. <clears throat> uh, it has a pocket clip. Only right hand up only right hand up so oh, drop it down a little bit so you can see the clip point blade has almost an upswept to it so I think I think that's it might be considered a feeler some feelers uh, has a hollow grind it's pretty sharp out of the box <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so it has serrat serrations uh, it is aluminum handled with rubber inserts. You can see that on both sides. It's pretty comfortable, nice full size knife. I can get my whole hand on it easily. And you even got like a ch jumping up here. And you slide it, it has a little bit of a ramp right there. I believe this, I mean, it's a clip point, but it has like, I think, a Bowie style you know sweep it's almost uh, almost an upsweep has finger stud deploy with a liner lock the liner lock is very centered but it's easy to move out of the way and you can flick it open with the wrist action it uh it has freed up a little bit i can get it easily i can't spider flick it but um, I can flick it open a little bit, but you can really get it out with uh, your thumb. See, I'm going to pop over here before I get any further and show you what they say it has. This is actually Tractor Supply. It was $19.99. Uh, let me make sure something. All right. It was $19.99. Uh, Earn one per. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, so it's a buck knife 864 BKX B Iceman pocket knife with clip for ideal everyday carry. Let's see, uh, hmm. Let's see. Okay, here's the knife. You can see it while I'm reading. Uh, personally serrated blade for durability. It has the I don't see it on here. I know it says it on the box, but it has the 420 HC steel. 
I'm not sure where it says it, but I know it has it. It don't say it on the blade itself, but I'm almost positive that it has it. Flicks open real nice now. I mean, I could flick it real good. Uh, let's see, set this down, dual thumb stud. We warrant each buck free of defects, blah, blah, blah. You can get more product information. And that's three ounces, 3.6 ounces. So somewhat light of a knife for such big, so big, 8.675 in length. The, the blade is 3.5 inches. And there's blade materials, 428C stainless. Clip point, blade storage, no. So I'm getting it. Like if you had like a fixed blade, maybe it had a something partially serrated, imported. Foldable, yes. Handle length five inches. Locking blade, yes. Let's get out of here. They have it. They had it at Blade HQ or not Blade not, Knife Center, but I don't see it. It looks like either they have it for eighteen ninety five, but I think it says out of stock, but typically ships. Oh, out of stock, but typically ships from Knife Center. Center. 10 to 7 days, 10, 10, 7 to 10 days, so Knife Center has it, got two reviews on Knife Center, and they are uh, both 5 star, get it back to this, back over here to my screen, do some size comparisons, like I read that it's a, it's a on, on the large size, let's uh, pop this, uh, ooh, let's pop this, uh, scale on and I believe they said it was 3.6 ounces and <clears throat> we're gonna turn it on turn it on and we're on ounces I got what the heck I must uh I gotta swear I said three point no I gotta swear it said 3.6 ounces but it, I'm measuring five ounces and make sure I zeroed out it's zeroed. Okay, maybe I misread that. <clears throat> it's three. I got five point three five. Let me pop back over here. I could have swore it said it was. Uh, what the heck? I thought it said. I mean, it's right here. Product weight three point six ounces. I got five point three five. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah. So I got 5.3. And we'll see. We got one. Oh, here's the man axe. I know this is like around three. Yeah. So, so I think my scale's right. So it's it's a little over five ounces. So I don't know if people like grams, but let's see, you can go. Grams is 153 grams. I don't. I never use gram. I always use ounces. So <clears throat> 5.3 ounces. All right, so we'll get this out of the way and do some size comparisons. Get my scale out of the way. Let's set that aside. All right, let's go with, well, here's the Manix. I just had it out. The Spyderco Manix. Slipped out of my hand. So you can see it's, the buck is a little bigger. It's at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and a half inches total. Blade length is one, two, three, four, three and a half. That so they're right on that. So I'm go straight down with this. So get it. Oh, here's the letter. Here's my ruler at my ruler. Here it is. Here, if you guys want to look at that. Get my pictures in the way. There we go. Okay. So I got eight and a half inches. Um, oh, uh, while you're at it, you go ahead and ring that bell if you like videos on knives and stuff like that. Uh, I unbox them, sharpen them, and give you my opinions on them. So if you give, give me a thumbs up if you're still watching. All right, so here's the uh, buck, and here's another buck I got a few days or a week or so ago. And this is the 
the bones. You can see the bones is a little smaller than that one. Then leave the buck on top. The buck is on top. Let's do a the Gerber 06 06 AO assisted at the point. Oh, looks like the Gerber's a little tad bit bigger, but very similar size knives right there. So you got you're getting a full size knife for this one. This is not a small knife. Speaking of, here we go. We'll do a little bit of a the small CKRT and the larger CRKT. Laying right there, you can see. Let's slide this up at eight inches. There you go, right there on the eight inch mark. There, this one's just a little over. Here we go. I'll start them all. There you go. You can see. Almost small, medium, large. So it's bigger than uh, uh, bigger than the uh, M16 3KS and the uh, M16 1KS. So you got bigger knife than those. And here's a little bonus. There's a K bar K bar clip point. Uh, there's those are pretty. Those are com pretty comparable yeah I think it's pretty good let's see all right I think I have one more knife a Gerber sumo and then we'll go to break out yeah this is a bigger knife than that we got look at that uh you can't see it but I got a pretty nice edge on that one all right speaking of edges let's cut some phone paper with it let's close my blades up Close my blades up here. Mm, we will I already tested it. I know it will cut through phone paper and I think it shaves. So one more knife to close up and we'll break some phone paper out. Get the phone paper. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, here it is. Oh, make me a liar. Yep, not too shabby right out of the box, slicing phone paper. This, like I said, it's a hollow grind. Gotta love hollow grinds. Hollow grinds are the shit. I think that's one of the best. Well, I actually like hollow grinds better than flat grinds, but I guess those are the two. Some people say the two best. I don't know. And let's see if I got any hair that needs shaving on my wrist. Let's see, right here. Let's see. Oh, damn, there's my phone going to go off. Hey, roll. Time to wake up. It shaves hair. All right. There's some hair shaving sharp. And what else? I guess that's about it. I got not much else. I guess my alarm went off to tell me to put it away. And... Let you guys get on the other YouTube videos. Yeah, hit my playlist. Watch some more knives. Most of these knives I got that I showed you, I've done uh, unboxings and overviews on them. So, all right, like, share, and subscribe to Angel's Edge. See ya. Bye.